Moto's motto with the BLC motto concept. You know, the BLC motto concept uses both the north and the south pole in this operation. And here, rather than using a single pole system, we decided to make use of both the repulsive and the attractive forces together. In this concept, the normal, the, the normal school girl, Bendini motto, which we know about, is now being modified using this BLC system. Now, in this concept, you harness both the energy that is triggering the, the movement of this flywheel, sending it back to another charging battery, so that in this case, you can receive up to 85 to 95 percent of the input energy back to this same battery and if you watch the setup you see that from the arrow when the 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 starter coil is triggered instead of using only the repulsive force the attractive force is still in existence that means as the starter is pushing away the rotor the north pole it is at the same time drawing your the south pole thereby combining both action the repulsive and the attractive forces so all is just uh, on the concept is just all about to improve the top of this flywheel making it a more powerful and reliable pulse motor system so this is just the picture and uh, the diagrammatic representation of what we are about to show you in this concept most of the comp uh, the components we are using here we used an IRF 3205 MOSFET connected through our wrist switch. Here are this 1K resistor. We, are, we used a 1K resistor, then a, 10, a, 1, a 100K resistor in this con uh, configuration. Now, this is the actual position of the wrist switch. We have in another set of magnets apart from the ones that are connected outside so this will help you this one now will trigger this the MOSFET thereby energizing this starter coil which will now cause the flow of energy and the spinning of this flywheel so in this case all is okay another thing you have to notice the power source because the higher the voltage the faster and the more powerful this flywheel will become so let's just go straight to the to the main video and see the, the working version of this which is the wrist switch then these are the four magnets here we used five instead of four then another thing you have to observe here is the magnet. This one is repelling and attracting. So in this case, we are making use of both forces. Now, watch the position of the wrist switch. So once the magnet here approaches this wrist switch, this man is triggered on, and as the repulsive force is acting, the attractive force is also in existence at the same time so this is the MOSFET which is a triggering unit this is the power the the reactive charge converter and this is the main power supply everything has been connected so let's see how this thing will work okay it's it's connected so we have to give it a small push let's see so a combined setup using a BLC concept whereby the, the both forces are in existence, making it a more reliable and very powerful pulse motor system. If you observe the size of the, the coil we use, this one is gate 21, but the best type is when you use a thicker coil, it will harness more energy and give you more top power. Then this is the output coil. Then 
leads from the outreach. And this a micro system. It's just a micro system we are working with. We believe after this one we are trying to expand this system so that we can harness energy from this output coil and everything will be self-sustained by the next experiment we are going to conduct and we believe if we can expand the concept of this pulse, uh, pulse motor system we can actually design an efficient energy converting unit that will be self-sustained you don't need to, you don't need to start burning fossil fuel or wasting energy to create energy this one is is just a, a method of recycling energy within this system and thereby as you are recycling you harness more energy from the environment because this can be connected to an, an, an external alternator or you design something like a walkable wind turbine.